now that we have all our configuration settings ready to go, we're actually ready to analyze our map. So when you click Analyze, um, the service editor thinks about your map and the layers that are contained in the map and how they're going to work in the end product. Now, you can see we have some high to medium and warnings and a low message. Now, I will go over a couple of these. You can see that two of our layers are not supported with the symbology. It's not supported inside KML. Now, with any warnings, you're, you're actually allowed to still go through and not, um, you don't have to go in and fix these in order to continue publishing. And we do actually just leave those as is. Um, one important thing that might come up pretty often is the transparency warning. So this is telling that you that your service can be, these layers can be improved in performance if you were to convert the layer transparency to color transparency. And if you're wondering how to do that, you'd actually, this is already fixed, but let me unresolve those. You'd actually just right click on the warning and select the option from the menu. And you can see this changes the status and it wants to be reanalyzed now. So again, I'll go through and set the color transparency. And we actually are not worried about the symbol level drawing on this layer. Um, with the layer transparency, we will still go through and publish without fixing that. And so we'll also notice for every layer in the service, it's telling us the message that they're all drawing at the same scale. Now we have decided to never have scale dependencies on our layers because this can cause confusion for our end users when if they were to bring a layer into a map or RTS.com and try to turn it on and view it and they're not at the right scale, they might think that there's just something wrong with the service or the layer or there's no data there when there actually is data. Um, so we've gone ahead and decided to take all scale dependencies off so that when somebody brings a layer in, no matter what scale they're at, it will draw. So we're now ready to reanalyze that now that we've addressed the warnings. So all you do is just click Analyze once again. This will come up, the status. It lets you know that it's resolved in the map service definition, which is perfect. That's what you want. And now we're actually ready to publish the service. So I'm going to click Publish here. And while that's running, I'll explain what might happen if an error comes up when you analyze. So if you were to get any errors, you would not be able to move forward and publish. You would actually have to address those errors before moving forward. And one example of an error would be if you have a base map in your map and you go to try to publish the map service, you would not be able to move forward. It would be an error. You cannot have base maps published in a map service, basically because they already are a map service. So you'd want to remove that and then go through the steps again of of publishing. So we'll just wait for this to finish. And it says the service has published successfully. So now we can actually go out and just verify that it is out there in the internet either. So I'm on our REST page now that is connected to that server I just published to. And if I go inside the folder that I published within, you can now see my demo service that I created. So I can click on this, and you'll see all the layers. You'll see the service description. You can see all your options for viewing the data. You can access the WMS from clicking on that link. You can also get to the legend, and because I have dynamic layers, enabled, these two items come up. And you can see this is where I typed in that information in the data frame properties. And that's the copyright text from the data frame properties. This information here in the document info is the information from the map service properties dialog box. If it were tile cached, this would say true. This is actually the spatial reference for web mercator projection. 
um, and it just gives you the initial extent and the full extent of, um, of the service. And it supports dynamic layers that we up the max record count to 10,000, and then the, the different supported operations that are allowed within the service. So checking out the REST page is kind of cool, and you can also go into the layers themselves and see all the information that comes across for those. You can see the description comes across, doesn't have any labels, everything about the layer comes across here, the symbol, and then you can also see the fields and the supported operations for those layers. There was a uh, question uh, a tiny bit ago related to um, publishing layers at different scales um, in any layer app. Uh, can, you, can you publish the same layer multiple times to have a layer draw differently at different scales? Yes, you can. Um, and some people do that, especially within a tile cache map service. Um, we don't we don't tend to do that much within our services here, so I don't have much experience with that. But it allows you to have your data be more general at the smaller scales, and as you zoom in, get more um, get more details on the same data set. And because our services are used by multiple people, having multiple layers of the same name can be confusing. That just show different scales, but a lot of people do use that method when publishing tile cache services. Thanks. Okay, so 